I'm going to demonstrate how to make your own machine applique without buying a pattern or anything like that. I went on the internet and found a website that showed how to draw a simple squirrel. So I drew my simple squirrel. I drew him a couple times. This size was a little too big. This size is a little bit better for my project. This is my failed attempt at a squirrel before. <laughs> Looks like a badger. I don't know what it is. Anyhow, your squirrel will end up being the opposite, the mirror image of the one in your picture that you end up drawing. You lay a piece of like white muslin on top of him, and it's pretty easy to just go ahead and trace the outline of the squirrel I had already picked. We'll make his tail just a little bit bushier than what I had here. And just loosely follow the outline of my little squirrel. It does not have to be perfect. And down his little arm, back up to here, his leg, here, and his little arm needs to come and come like something seem right. It doesn't really matter. My little mistakes don't really matter. They're not going to show up. And his little haunch. That's probably better right there. There's my drawing, and I'm going to flip it over the wrong side. Take a piece of quilt batting, lay it on this side. Take my piece of brown that I'm using for my squirrel, and I'm going to lay it right side up. So this is a silky fabric that I've picked. Make sure it's laying on top of my squirrel drawing. Ooh, let's just stick up to my fingers. There we go. Can come down a bit there. All right. Turn it over to the wrong side again. Make sure all my layers layer up. My silky stuff wants to shift around on me, but I think I got it now. Okay. This at this time I'm going to use my uh, machine quilting presser foot. Make sure you see it real good. Place it on my machine, and the wonderful thing about my machine quilting presser foot is when it is placed down, it allows free motion in sewing. Now it is down, and I'm able to just freely move the fabric underneath it. I'm going to follow the outline of my squirrel. Again, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. It's kind of a cartoony character type squirrel. Therefore, you know, it can be a little imperfect. I use this technique for a lot of my machine applications. You know, when you use a standard presser foot, you have to stop, start, make turns, things like that. And just being able to have that free motion allows you to move around at will without a lot of stopping and starting. And there he is. Flip it over to the right side, and there he is. I can see the stitching. And I'm just going to trim away all the extra to the stitched line. Again, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. 
because I will then go back around with my zigzag stitch and stitch over all the edges of the brown. I do not want to trim away the muslin underneath it this time. It's when I am, I will zigzag around the squirrel. Then I will lay it on top of my quilt block. I will zigzag around or stitch it down in the same technique that I just showed you that I drew around him. I'll stitch it to my quilt block. Then I will stitch away the white muslin and then I will zigzag around him again on the finished quilt block. And you'll never even know that he was originally made on white muslin. And that is how I make do simple applique. I use it all the time, as I said.